Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town or in the tri-state area on whatever you need uh, when it comes to the upcoming winter, which is probably the furthest thing from your mind today, considering, considering the weather conditions. And the uh, website is omnitruevalue.com. Also, wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meaning all your decorating needs. Uh, getting close to Halloween, Christmas will follow. You want your house to, to look to like the best house in the neighborhood, uh, give them a call at 631-957-5106. They're at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York. Whether you're in this, biz in this business or you want to be uh, in this business, get in touch with them at liholidaylighting.com. So no doubt about it, it's a summery day. High temperatures will be up into the 80s today. I think uh, most ranges will be from 80 to 85, maybe a little bit cooler at the shore. And we've got a fair amount of sunshine from southern New England uh, right down through the southeastern part of the United States. Uh, the clouds to the north and west, that is with the next cold front that's going to come through on Saturday. It's going to be moving uh, across uh, the Ohio Valley today into western New York and into western Pennsylvania by later tonight. And then it will continue to move along. That's one good thing about this cold front. We had so many of them this summer that just hung up and stalled right along the East Coast. And sometimes they produced a lot of rain. Sometimes they uh, took days to fall apart. Well, this one's just going to keep on going, and we're going to get a shot of much cooler air, air that will be coming in behind it. Got a couple of showers moving through northeastern New York and into Vermont, and that's some of that warm air trying to make its way northward up into New England. And further to the west, uh, the beginnings of some showers and thunderstorms that are going to be headed eastward across the Ohio Valley and down into the Tennessee Valley as well. The Storm Prediction Center today has a slight risk of severe weather over a rather large area from Arkansas northeastward uh, through Kentucky and Ohio into northwestern Pennsylvania and into western New York. And that, by the way, comes with some areas of 5% tornado risk. A uh, little high to see tornado risk numbers like that uh, this time of year. Now, for tomorrow, Saturday, the risk area is going to shift to the east. Uh, marginal risk from northern Virginia and northeastern West Virginia across much of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, uh, Maryland, uh, continuing northeastward uh, across New York State, Long Island, southern and central New England. And this does not come with tornado risk. I think the biggest risk tomorrow with some of these uh, isolated what I think will be isolated, <clears throat> strong uh, to uh, uh, severe thunderstorms in a couple of places, uh, will be the wind, uh, where we could see some wind gusts in excess of 50 knots in one or two of those cells as they move on by. Meanwhile, rainfall over the next seven days, nothing really to write home about. Most of it's going to come tomorrow on the order of a quarter to a half an inch, but you see much more substantial rainfall to the north and west. Uh, in upstate New York and in northern Vermont and New Hampshire. Again, this is because of the frontal boundary setting up the way it is. Uh, the uh, southeast is actually relatively dry. There's not a whole lot of precip here to worry about, uh, at least uh, through the weekend and into the first part of next week. The uh, weather uh, will probably deteriorate maybe later next week, depending on what the next cold front does. And we're starting to see some heavy rains coming in from northern, northern California coast, up the coast, uh, into uh, the Pacific Northwest, but a large area of the plains, the southwest, and even up in the northern plains, except for this east-west band that you see from uh, Wyoming into, into uh, South Dakota and Minnesota, a uh, lot of areas on either side of that are going to be uh, virtually rain-free. So let's run you through what's going to happen tomorrow. Obviously, we have a very warm air mass, so the humidity has come up a bit. It's not summertime oppressive humidity, obviously, but the dew points are going to be uh, a bit on the high side. And then for tomorrow, uh, you'll see those showers and storms today, at least according to the world the NAM lives in, as they develop back out to the west. I don't see any weather issues uh, for much of the area until sometime in the evening. This is at 5 o'clock when uh, thunderstorms are into eastern Pennsylvania and northward up along I-81 and east of I-81 in upstate New York. 
and we'll see how much of that holds together uh, once we get past sunset the daytime heating cuts off and of course right behind it is some very cool air it's going to be on the breezy side <clears throat> uh, saturday night into sunday uh, and probably into sunday night uh, and monday as high pressure is sitting down in arkansas and we've got a deepening low that is uh, well up to the north and east uh, but uh, it is going to bring cooler air. I think we'll probably have clouds and some sun in, uh, in a mix on Sunday with maybe the chance for an isolated sprinkle or shower because of the cold, unstable air. And it looks to me like we could see another little trough coming through on Monday with a mix of sun and clouds and maybe the chance of an isolated shower uh, with that. Temperatures will be in the 60s on Sunday after bottoming out in the 40s to around 50 and probably down in the 40s. Sunday night into Monday morning uh, across much of the area from Northeast Virginia to Southern New England. Let's take a look at the uh, the temperature map here. This is for Sunday morning, and you can see a fairly, well, it'll try and load the rest of it, but certainly down from, say, New Jersey. Uh, now we got New England there. You can see 40s everywhere, 30s well up into parts of upstate New York. Uh, but those 40s and go pretty far south down into Georgia and Alabama and Mississippi and even a few 30s. Uh, down the Appalachian Mountains into northeastern Georgia uh, for Sunday morning, and it will be just as cool, if not cooler than that, on Monday. Monday's highs are going to be subdued in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states, probably no higher than the uh, upper 50s and lower 60s. And then just to take you through a little bit longer range as we uh, go into uh, next week, uh, you'll uh, see that at least for the first part of next week, it's going to be dry, still at northwest flow and on the breezy side on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, we do have uh, what looks like to be a pretty nice day. Uh, Thursday brings a, a low across Wisconsin and into the Great Lakes. It'll probably mean some clouds, but it looks like showers will stay to the north. And then the next frontal passage probably comes on Friday Though uh, with this blocky pattern that we have, this low is probably going to be a little further south. You can see how it just drops in southeastward across uh, Michigan and into northern Ohio, then probably redevelops just offshore and then heads on out to the east with another cooler air mass to follow. And we'll have to see whether next weekend we see some development of low pressure along the coast and whether some of that rain, the GFS being rather bullish here on a non-tropical system uh, developing for next weekend. But that's a ways away. In the meantime, uh, you've got today. And if you like summer weather, uh, enjoy it. And tomorrow also, ahead of that front, temperatures will be probably in the upper 70s and low 80s. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125, the phone number, the website, omnitruevalue.com. Wholesale holiday lighting by Giannini, your complete holiday lighting specialist, meeting all your decorating needs at 162 Ocean Avenue in Lindenhurst, New York, 631-957-5106, and the website there, liholidaylighting.com. So enjoy the rest of your summery afternoon. Maybe you could head down to the shore if you have access to it. Uh, we will uh, be uh, following the developments tomorrow with, the, with this cold front. We'll see how it behaves when uh, these thunderstorms uh, develop late in the day. But again, most of the daytime Saturday, I think, should be rain-free. And then you could look forward to that cooler air coming in for Sunday and Monday. The next Joe and Joe show, we take a couple of days off. Usually we don't do a show on Friday and Saturday. We'll be back Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So have a great day.